video i'll discuss another question from one of the interviews interview rounds of misho so this is this uh, this was also asked in one of the rounds this is a sql query and here is the table so we have a table which has three columns customer id transaction date and trans transaction amount now the question says that for a given customer id comma give so what we want for a given customer id we want the date at which the cumulative transaction amount becomes more than or equal to 2000 so this is the customer id so for this customer id 101 the cumulative transaction amount becomes greater than 0 so before uh, attempting attempting this question since we have cumulative amount transaction amount i'll just order this by transaction date so this is the transaction date um so uh, sorry transactions first i'll order uh, order this by um customer id and then by transaction date yeah so now it becomes like we can easily see what we want so 500 plus 400 is 900 right it has not exceeded the limit of 2000 now when i add 2200 to 900 it will become 3100 now 31 surely greater than 2000 so the answer so the output for this will look like the customer id which is 101 the transaction date at which the cumulative transaction becomes more than 2000 which is um which is this is the date right 3rd of 2nd of march so this date 2022 and the amount The the cumulative amount which is greater than or equal to two thousand. So in our case, it is thirty one hundred. So this is what the output should look like. So take a pause, give this question a shot, and once you are back, you as you resume the video, we'll just start. I'll just start with the explanation. i hope you have paused the video and given this question a try so let's start with the solution so we have um, so this is our table okay now i w i want this so first thing the first approach that comes into uh, which should come to our uh, which which comes to my mind is that by using window function so which window function are we going to use here some window function so select everything comma now i'll do i'll use the some window function so what so i'll partition this now this is exclusive to the customer id so for each customer id we want this value so customer id okay um so what do we want to sum we want to sum the transaction amount and from which table are we going to do this we will use the customer transaction so we we'll, i'll use the customer transaction table okay and i'll also order this by customer id comma transaction date transaction amount over
as cumulative transaction. Okay, I have not you I have not written partition by. It should have been partitioned by. Um some transaction amount. Acha. Acha. There is no such column as transaction. It's transaction amount. So see. So this is 500, this is 400, so we are adding the transaction amount and I am partitioning this by customer ID and I will also have to order this. So I have made a small mistake here. I have used, I have not ordered this, so I will have to order this by transaction date. Then only it will give me. Sorry, we should not use a comma. See, now it's giving me the right value. It's 500, 3100, 4000. So, this is. So, now what we want? Now we want the date at which this becomes 3100. So, I'll write. So let it be the subquery with tab one as select star from tab one where cumulative transaction amount is greater than or equal to 2000. So these are the values where it's greater than or equal to 2000. Now I'll again use a function here uh, which is the row function which is the rank sorry uh, it's the rank function right. Over by so I'll partition it by customer ID and order by so how do I want to rank it by transaction amount so order by transaction uh, sorry order by cumulative transaction amount So we want the, uh, so let it be the rank as R. So we want the rank, so we want all the, we want data from the rows where rank is 1. So I will write one more thing, having rank equal to 1. So I'll also um, with tab to us comma tab to as okay. So what all things? So I'll have to put a comma here. That's why it's given that. So what all things do we want our, uh, do we want in our output customer ID, the transaction date, cumulative transaction amount, from tab 2, where Rn equal to 1. This is from not form. 
when i'll run this i'll get my answer So instead of rank, we can also we could have also used row number because our uh, our value is already ordered. We don't have to order it. So yeah. So this is it. This is the answer to the question. Um, thank you, thank you for watching this video. And if you really like this video, please do like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And yeah. Bye.